there's actually a bunch of settings in here that you could kind of play around with. This is the middle button. You go into setting here, uh, pair, brightness control, uh, mirror, normal, reset. So let me see what that is. Hey guys, welcome to the video. And today I have this product here from Autovox. Now this thing is amazing. If you don't have a backup camera, you can use this thing to back up safely. And there will be a monitor also in, uh, included in this, uh, where you, which you can put on your dash and you can use that to back up your car. Now, I have several other uses for this. For example, if you have a big car and you do have a backup camera and you also need a front camera, sometimes the front will be too huge if you're a new driver and you're not used to that, um, the depth of your car, then this would be a perfect product for you. You can put this right on your license plate in the front and you can go and not hit something. And you can always see if you're about to hit something when you're parking or something like that. So that would be amazing. And the third use is the one that I'm gonna be using for is, um, I'm gonna put it on the back of my trailer. So my trailer is a full body and it's closed. So it's kind of hard to see from the back. I could see through the whole trailer, but that always doesn't give me accurate measurements. And it's also wide, so I also don't see through my mirrors. So this would be a backup camera for my trailer. So we'll see how that goes, right? Um, but I hope it'll fit and I hope the connectivity is going to be okay because, you know, it's kind of too car length. But we'll see how that goes, right? So let's go ahead and open this up. This is in a sealed box. There you go. So this is the product. There's some cushion on the inner side of the upper box. One thing I forgot to tell you guys is this is solar powered, so you don't have to charge the camera at all. Now this is your screen. It's the first thing you have in the box. It's actually pretty big and pretty solid looking. You can actually charge this thing with a wire at home. So if you need it a lot more than you know what solar provides, that would be a great option. That's really cool that you can actually charge this thing at home or in your car it's just a usb pretty cool huh so recommendation is charging it fully before first use which would be amazing but this is a huge solar panel and if this is a good quality one you know this will hold good amount of charge way more than enough charge than somebody would need in the inside of the box there's a cable here which i can use to charge it with the back one here which is pretty cool it's a pretty long wire and it's pretty thick it looks pretty good quality there's a red dot where this whole panel is letting me know it's charging right now so that's good we're gonna put this to a side and now we have the mount right so the mount is this this is what it looks like now that's pretty good you could actually put it on your glass and you know have it there which would be pretty cool you basically, this tab, you open this tab, right? You take this protective thing off from the suction cup. You put it wherever you want it, put it, right? And then you lock this in, just like that, right? Once it locks in, great suction, it won't come off, trust me. I have a lot of uh, good experience with these suction cups. Anyways, um, then you put it through this. And you lock it like that right and then you'll have a screen which is a really good size honestly check this out it's pretty good this is an iPhone uh, 13 Pro Max this is the size comparison pretty good size huh you could, I could put this any corner of the car uh, any corner of my dash and I would still be able to see properly so I'm not really worried about this taking any space and then we have this pry tool here, which I used to fix iPhones with back in the days when iPhones used to be fixable. But yeah, this thing, this blue thing, <laughs> rings a lot of bell. Anyways, next part is the last thing that's in the box, which is cable, right? Now this is one thing I really hate is this cigarette lighter, right? Nowadays, you know, cars are kind of canceling these out and there's less and less of it. I have a camera, then I have a radar detector, 
the, that's that's like you know I have three cigarette lighters. No, I got two actually. Yeah, I got two, and those are taking the two. So what I would have to do is I have to get a junction uh, where I can plug multiple of these junky things, and then go from there. I hope these were USB. I don't even know why these they make these. I don't know, but anyways, uh, we got this on the other side, right? Now, remember this from this, the screen. So you connect these two together and you can use this crappy pry tool or something longer that I, you know, previously have with my dash cam um, to kind of pry on the parts of the car, the inside to hide the wire right so basically that's that and then you pr push this it turns it on how cool is that so this is the interior of my car right that right there is the backup camera so it's looking really good i don't know how well you can see this but it look it's looking really good and it's really high quality way better quality than the car cameras but uh, this is the front camera and i'm gonna put on reverse to let you see what I see so that's the whole trailer this is nighttime so I don't really like see through it but uh, basically that's what it's looking like right now and if you press this thing again it'll probably shut it off never mind it shuts off automatically but if you press it it turns on basically that's what that is so I'm gonna take you guys outside and show you how everything so there's the screen all the way in that corner and then this is the trailer as you can see you could kind of see through the glass and if you do go through the glass you'll go through the back glasses here this is the back and through these glasses you could kind of see not too much but you know that's the problem so this is the camera this is what it's looking like and what you do is basically slide the license plate through this like through the side and then you know obviously screw after that right uh, but I don't have a license plate right now took that off for registration purposes but you know that's what it's gonna look like this is what it looks like right now but uh, only problem is the lines of the um, backup lines it's not gonna line up because this is not the middle of the trailer and as you can see there's no way that I can put it in the middle because this would be too low I'd be scraping stuff this would be too high then I can't put a ladder on top that would hit the ladder but that's what's going on and it's looking pretty good uh, reversing time uh, mirror normal brightness control yeah you could set the brightness and then reset it guidelines you could turn the lines off and stuff like that and then you could set the timer you know for however long it stays I'll put it at 90 seconds because it's obviously gonna take me a long time to back up a whole trailer into anything but I, I'm gonna feel way more confident now you know with this thing uh, as an option you know it's, it's on that side of the whole car so you know obviously my dash is kind of cramped up but in the end of the day I don't think this is gonna bother me because it's all the way on that side so that was kind of it for this video if you have any questions you guys know where to find me in the comment just comment below and i'll try to answer as best as i can thank you so much for watching this video i'll see you guys next time peace